every hospital has a front door, but for many patients, the entrance is often the emergency room. And that's not often because it's truly an emergency. A variety of social conditions can contribute to a decision to head to the hospital. And now Jefferson Hospital in Pittsburgh South Hills is launching a new initiative to better engage with the surrounding community to better coordinate the proper support. The program's been made possible by a million dollar grant from the Jefferson Regional Foundation. Mary Fan Groover is executive director of the Jefferson Regional Foundation, and Dr. Richard Sullivan is director of emergency medicine at Jefferson, which is a unit of the Allegheny Health Network and Highmark Health, which are, of course, sponsors of our region's business. And welcome. Good to have you both here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very Bill. much. Yeah, so you've got a big investment going on down there at Jefferson, right? In a whole a new emergency? $21 million investment. Wow. In okay. Our, in, in building a new emergency department, we're going to double the square feet of the emergency department, increase our rooms by about one one third. But one thing that we noticed though is that we not only want to build a bigger emergency department, we would we want to build a better way of delivering health care. Hmm. And so we identified some needs and this grant, a very generous grant from our foundation, is going to help us better treat some of our populations and that are special populations. Sure, and why was this of interest to the foundation to provide the money to do this kind of programming? So that's a good question. We partner um, as a grant-making foundation in the South Hills with a lot of, uh, a wide variety of, of organizations. And one of the things that we are well aware of is that health is much more than clinical care. So as good a job as Dr. Sullivan and his team do, and they do, um, clinical care covers maybe 10 or 20 percent of our health. Hmm. The rest of it is our lifestyles, where we live, what we have access to, our economic conditions. So some people might be living down the road and have a much lower mortality rate in their community. They may not have access to healthy food. They may not have access to transportation. There may be lots of limitations. So those social determinants of health make a big difference as well in people's health. So we recognize that this was an opportunity for the hospital to really advance both those social um, issues that people come into emergency rooms because the emergency room is a safe place that's available and they know that they will get help. Sure, well, it's their doctor's office for an awful lot of people. They don't really go anywhere else. But is this a new way of thinking about emergency treatment? I would think you just, in the nature of what you do, you just sort of take what the ambulance brings in the in the door and you, and you roll with it. Is this shifting the whole way of the, of the this approach? Is, this is a paradigm shift. Uh -huh. So the classic business of emergency medicine would be based on people getting acutely ill, coming in and getting treated. Treated. But what we realize is if we really don't address factors that are going to cause them to become ill once we discharge them, we really haven't done our job right. Hmm. So specifically, there are certain communities we want to reach out to. We're talking about the elderly, children, local immigrant communities, people who are food insecure people who are battling substance abuse, people with other mental health issues, and also people of domestic abuse. Hmm. And I think that those communities require some special identification, intervention, so that we can just improve their health in other ways, not only while they're at the hospital, but after they're discharged. So, and, and so the, how will this work? It's literally taking the hospital out into the community to some degree to try to understand And bringing some partners in. Okay. So sometimes it may be uh, looking at what kinds of other models are out there. Um, some new innovative programs, training some staff. A lot of the core of it is also recognizing that there are community partners who would love to work more closely um, with the hospital so that those referrals, those handoffs, maybe some of those um, organizations might even want to be right um, aligned with the emergency department as well so that instead of sometimes people discover that there is um, a resource or sometimes they're given something those handoffs happen um, much more smoothly and people find those resources and are connected to them. Yeah, so will that change the nature of the visit itself? It's like a take the temperature, blood pressure, <laughs> pulse, okay good I'm figuring this out. Will there be some additional steps now when the patient shows up at the hospital at the ER? We do. So we, we're going to need to leverage both like healthcare information, um, bringing people on board who are better um, able to identify these communities and what their needs are, giving them tools to use, screening tools, mm -hmm. and you know, 
incorporating them right at the beginning of the patient's arrival as opposed to waiting to traditionally the day of discharge to address these needs. Hmm. So we're just going to do it. You're getting treated for your pneumonia, but there's also somebody else looking into the, uh, the social factors that might have led into you getting pneumonia. Wow. So what's the rollout for all of this? How's this going to unfold? So we are um, setting up um, a planning process first because okay. part of the assumption is that we should sit with some of those community partners with um, Dr. Sullivan's big team um, and really look at what other models might exist out um, in the community, um, sit with some of our partners and go through a planning process to, to make that happen. Some of the staff have already started some training. For example, um, this is not an ER traditionally that served a lot of children, but there's already some pediatric training going on for the staff. There are lots of um, opportunities that we think that, uh, that are right there. Well, really exciting. Well, congratulations yeah. for reinventing emergency medicine in the South Hills. Uh, Dr. Rich Sullivan from Jefferson Hospital, Mary Fan Gruber from the Jefferson Regional Foundation. Thank you both so much. Really Thank awesome. you. No, thank you. Yeah. And when we return, a toast to the holidays with a new rum from our region. Please stay with us.